Hello, Stacy the Blackfeather Intuitive. Welcome to another week of my Dream Team Oracle reading for the week of September 30th. Hoping you're having a great one, guys. Let's see what our Dream Teams have to say this week. Uh, calling in all the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Highest Guides, Light Beings, Creature Teachers, Elementals, Loved Ones, and Spirit. Come on into this space. Let us know the information that we need to reach our highest and best selves this week. I'm feeling Tarot de la Nuit today. Definitely drawn to the dark purple today. I think maybe I'm in a dark purple mood. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Nine of Cups. Oh, this is a great card. This is a card of satisfaction. So um, nine energy is the energy of things wrapping up, chapters coming to a close, um, tying up loose ends, things shutting down so that you can make room for something new. And the cup energy is the realm of emotion, the realm of intuition. What I'm feeling here is um, this week, what we have to look forward to is sort of an achievement of our emotional goals, getting to a place where we have built a solid foundation and now it's about, okay, what's next? What's coming next? I'm feeling great about everything that I've achieved what do I want to aspire to as I move forward? And this is not about having to shut down, close down everything that's created. It's more about what needs to stay, what needs to go, what's working best, and what am I going to use in order to be able to build on um, for the next chapter. So I'm really feeling definitely the energy of emotional endings, emotional uh, things, uh, situations, scenarios being wrapped up. Um, as you move forward, it's creating that space for something new and wonderful to come. And I am hearing the word wonderful. So this week feels very much the energy of bringing about joy, wonderment, um, experiences that you're truly going to enjoy. You're going to feel um, the wonder and awe of what life has to offer. You're also going to feel um, satisfied. There's um, satisfaction in all experiences that you have, especially events that are public. So public outings, um, public celebrations like birthdays, anniversaries, um, celebrating a, you know, a, a long lost reunion, a long lost uh, family reunion or family um, situation or friends that you haven't seen in a long time coming together. So there's a lot of wonderful things happening. I also am hearing the word surprise. Um, emotional surprises. And what this means is you're surprised at how um, much you've grown on an emotional level this week. So something happens to you on a very uh, personal level um, or, or that it feels personal, your response to it feels very personal and you're kind of proud of how you're, how you're uh, approaching it. Um, so it's showing emotional growth, definitely feeling that energy this week. Um, and Kyle Gray's um, Angels and Ancestors were talking to me. Oh, and there we go. The card just decided to flip out. The Sage, be devoted and committed. What I'm hearing with this is be devoted and committed to yourself. Be devoted and committed to, to um, others who are supporting your path. This sounds a bit selfish or self-serving, but what I'm feeling with this is it's actually when you are serving yourself with the uh, intention of being able to serve others, um, it's kind of like I talk about the love cup. If your love cup isn't full, you're not going to have enough energy or um, advice or space to give um, in the way that you want to give. Um, you, you need to fill that love cup. So when you are putting yourself first with the intention of you know, filling your love cup and so that you can be a better of service to others, that is a wonderful cause to devote yourself to. Also in terms of the emotional um, uh, tying up of emotional loose ends, it's important that you be devoted and committed to making that happen. 
Oftentimes when endings come along, we resist it because we're a, a bit afraid of change. We don't always know what that change is going to bring, how it's going to unfold. And uh, we've been taught to fear the mystery. Instead, what I'm encouraging you to do is be devoted uh, and committed to the mystery and recognize that that mystery is going to reveal itself and there are going to be wonderful experiences um, waiting for you when you're tying this up. Um, and the only way you're going to be able to, to receive this wonderment is to tie up those loose ends. So uh, don't resist. What we resist persists. Release what you need to release on an emotional level. Be comfortable with where things are at. I'm also feeling here it's important for you to choose, but choose lies wisely to the causes that you are devoting yourself to. Uh, this week I've been getting a lot of work, or this, um, this month with readings, I've been getting a lot of work-related issues um, or issues in the workplace. Pay attention to, are you working for a place that is in alignment with your core values? Um, are you, is, is your boss uh, an individual or the, your team or the project that you're working on um, in alignment with uh, who you are as a person? If you're out of alignment, you might want to consider choosing something else that's going to be more in alignment because you need to be devoted and committed. And in order to be devoted and committed, you want to make sure that it's something that you really want to, um, to do moving forward and something that's going to enhance your own personal goals. So pay attention to that. There's, I feel like there's a lot of review going to pop up this week. Um, in terms of is everything that I'm doing in my world, everything that I am committing myself to in alignment with who I'm becoming. Hmm, liking the message this week. Lots of growth will be coming out of the devotion and the commitment space. Lots and lots of growth. All right, let's see what the feather is that we've got. Hmm, love it, grace. And it's this bright magenta color. So definitely feeling the energy of heart space, passion, and I'm feeling the energy of grace. It's important for you to give grace, be grace. It's not about receiving grace this week. It's about giving grace. And when you give, you will receive in kind. Um, but your intention is to give the grace and be the grace. Let's talk about grace for a second. What exactly is grace? Grace is that um, I said something that came out wrong and I hurt someone's feelings that I love deeply. And instead of that person uh, retaliating, not speaking to me, um, you know, uh, ending our friendship or ending the relationship, instead that person turned around and gave me a big hug. You know, that's grace. That person gave grace to me in a moment when I was not at my best. That's a good example of grace. So be grace to others. Um, give grace to others. And it feels very much the energy of giving versus receiving. So in everything that you're doing this, um, this week, you want to pay attention to how you can fill your love cup and then how you can be grace, um, be graceful, bring grace to all situations and circumstances that you run into. And this is a great way um, for you to be devoted and committed to what is in alignment with your highest and best self and helping your emotional state to be in a, in a true state of balance. Let's also talk, I'm gonna go backwards a little bit, let's talk a little bit about with the Nine of Cups and the energy of intuition. Follow your intuition. Uh, you're going to know the instinct, you know, if someone hurts you or someone says something or there's, there's a situation that comes up that you weren't expecting and it's not part of your plan, the initial instinct is to react. Um, the guidance here is to use your intuition so that you can respond through grace. Love the message this week, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you see here, please feel free to like, subscribe, and click the bell on my YouTube channel. I love doing videos like this, so the more subscribers um, I'm able to have, the more I know what I'm able to give out to you guys, what you guys want to see and hear more of. I love to be of service in this way. 
Also, um, feel free to check out my website. I have a lot of really new cool services coming out. I've got some subscription services that are around this type of uh, guidance that is personal direct for you delivered right to your inbox in video form. Um, I also have a wonderful service um, that is a, a subscription service that allows you and I to connect on a personal basis, on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, either that is in person or remotely. We can do um, a phone remote or a video remote uh, session. Um, and let's connect one-on-one. -on -one. Let me see how I can um, guide you through this process. We can connect with your dream team directly and you get to ask any questions that you want and your dream team speaks um, so feel free to check that out as well if you are struggling if you're looking for a little bit of guidance um, I'm here to help take care guys have the most amazing week and we will see you next time